नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू मोहनजेनिक्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी एंड योर स्टडी इज आल्सो गोइंग वेल एज वी आर डिस्कसिंग बेसिक सिग्नल्स इन सिग्नल एंड सिस्टम वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सम ऑफ द बेसिक सिग्नल्स इन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सैंपलिंग सिग्नल इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिंक फंक्शन व्हिच इज सिमिलर टू सैंपलिंग सिग्नल but it has some differences and it has some basic concept which may be misunderstood by the students so without any delay prize shuru karte hain before starting this lecture i want all of you to attempt this question and solve it and answer it in the comment section below let's see who get it right i will give solution of this question at the end of this lecture so let's start sampling function sampling function we already know from our previous lecture is like this it is peak amplitude is 1 at t is equal to 0 and its value is similar to sine function but its amplitude is decreasing towards 0 so similar to our sampling signal to get sin function we just have to replace this t with pi t if i write this sampling pi t it will be equal to sin t so sin function is sampling pi t also we can write sin t is equal to sin pi t divided by pi t so this is our sin function so as we only replaces t with pi t its shape will be same as sampling signal so its shape will be similar to sampling signal whose peak amplitude is at t is equal to 0 and similar to sine wave but its amplitude is decreasing in next now you can ask that sir then what is the difference between this sampling signal and this sync function this is sync function so its difference will be the points at which this sync function is zero that is value of t at which this sync function is zero the values are different and we will recheck that what will be the value of its peak amplitude which is at t is equal to zero so let's check so to get its peak amplitude what we will do we will do similar to our sampling function what we have done there we just have to do sync t is equal to 0 so it will be sin pi t by pi t at t is equal to 0 as t is in the denominator so what we have to do we just have to put limit limit t tends to 0 sin pi t by pi t and as we know that limit t tends to 0 sin t by t is equal to 1 that's why limit t tends to 0 sin pi t by pi t is also 1 so its value is 1 at t is equal to 0 So, which is same as sampling function. Now let's find what is the value of t at which this sync function is zero. So to get the values at which this sync function is zero, what we have to do? We have to write one equation like this: sync t is equal to zero. So which means sine pi t by pi t is equal to zero. And t cannot be zero as at t is equal to zero. Its value is one, so pi t also cannot be zero. That's why sine pi t is equal to zero. 
and as we know for all the values of t we equal to plus minus n pi that means sin plus minus n pi value is equal to 0 that's why we have to compare these with sin pi t is equal to sin plus minus n pi which means pi t is equal to plus minus n pi for the student who don't know about this n, n is the natural number. Natural number means from 1, 2, 3 to infinity. So, what will be the value of this t? This value of t will become as t is equal to plus minus n. This pi and this pi get cancelled. That's why t is equal to plus minus n. That's why for n is equal to 1, it will become as plus 1 and minus 1. For n is equal to 2, it will become as plus 2 and here minus 2. And these values are like this. So, it is very simple for all the values of t is equal to plus minus n. That means plus 1, plus 2, plus 3 or minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Like this value of this sin function is 0. That's why these points are 1, 2, 3 or minus 1, 2, 3 and infinity. Which was in the case of sampling function plus pi, plus 2 pi, plus 3 pi like this. So, this, one, this is the difference. Now, let's find where this signal is going. That means at t is equal to infinity. What will be the value of this sink? t. So, this means at t is equal to 0 value of this sink t will be sink t is equal to infinity sin n infinity by sorry sin pi infinity by pi into infinity. Pi into infinity will become as infinity and for any value of t sin t is in the range of minus 1 to plus 1. That's why for sin pi infinity value will be minus 1 to 1 only. Which means finite value divided by infinity will become as 0. So, its value is decreasing towards 0. Both in the positive t axis as well as negative t axis. That's why its amplitude is decreasing in nature. Which means as I have already explained you all that any signal which is infinite duration signal here see here it is infinite duration signal as its value is going on in the both direction that's why it is infinite duration signal and as we know for any infinite duration signal if the peak amplitude is decreasing in nature like this its value is decreasing in nature it will be energy signal. So, our sync function is also similar to sampling signal. It is energy function or energy signal. Now, let's move on to our intro question. Our intro question was, what are the energy of this signal xt? We can easily say that this xt is sink t. So, energy of sink t will be to know about the energy of sink t. I will give you one concept which I have already explained in my previous lecture of energy signal basics that if energy of xt is e then energy of x a t will be e by a mod of a remember this so as we know energy of s a t is equal to pi from our previous lecture you can refer our previous lecture that's why energy of s a pi t will be pi by mod pi which is equal to 1 that's why it this is sink t only. That's why energy of sink t is equal to 1. So, option B is the right answer.
so this is end of this lecture i hope all of you have understood it clearly in the next lecture we will discuss about mathematical representation of wave forms if you understood this lecture then don't forget to like this video share among your friends and if you have any doubt any suggestions or any feedback write in the comment section below and to be with me subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon dhanyawad doston jai hind